Someone say that age is an issue of mind over matter. Those ones who mind don't matter, and those ones who matter don't mind. Well, we're talking about how you can come back in terms of when you realize that life is giving you feedback when you compare yourself with other people, especially people that you are the same level at some point in time. Some years have passed and now they look like they are way ahead of you and life is sending you signals when you meet them. It sends you sig signals to tell you that you could be better, you could do better. There, There's something that you could have done with your life. And, you know, you, you comparison is not a good thing. Probably it's not a good thing. Competing is not a good thing. But you cannot escape the fact that when you see some, some, someone who you are with on the same level doing wonders, it tends to alert you. It tends to communicate to you. It tends to tell you probably you could also be at a higher level than you are at in this moment in time. And I want us to discuss how you can be able to have a comeback whenever that kind of feedback comes into your life. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. You've already tackled the fact that you're always going to be a sandwich. There's always going to be someone better than you, and there's always going to be someone worse than you. We cannot be uniform. We cannot end up in the same place. And I've always said and advocated the fact that we are all unique. However, in terms of impact, in terms of contribution, in terms of capacity, and in regard to our own potential, you can always see that you could do better. You could be better. You could have expanded your life much better than you are at. And one of the ways that you can see that your potential is probably being wasted is when you meet someone that was a friend at high school, maybe someone you started working together, or someone came from the same village, went to the same school, the same classes, and so on, graduated the same year. And look at them and probably what they are doing in terms of their potential is much higher than what you are doing at the moment. And it can start sending signals to you. And we said in the previous episodes that you can have two options. You can either draw a line in the sand and say, I'm going to learn from inspiration of this guy. And I'm going to mount a comeback and I'm going to start doing some things circumspect in my life. Or you can decide to take that feedback and, you know, become jealous and have some kind of apathy and you just say that, you know, this is how life has dealt with us and so on. You, we wasted our years and it's, it's, it's already gone and so on. And you can just retreat out of life and, you know, continue living in apathy and continue calling curses upon you indirectly and just quit out of life. You can do that. But we say that the best thing that you can do is to take this life head on and decide to be inspired. That's why we say that, you know, age is a mind over matter kind of a thing. It doesn't matter at what particular point in time that life is giving you feedback and telling you that your potential could actually have been deployed much more. Your capacity could have been increased much more than what you are seeing today. Actually, it should be good news when you meet someone who is doing much better than you are and you are at the same level at some point in time. He's sending signals to you and telling you, listen. There's something else you can do. I mean, there's something better you can do. And you can actually draw a line in the sun and you can start mounting up a better life. I'm not saying that we're going to compete with these guys. Yeah, I'm not saying that we're living in comparison with people and, you know, we're drawing a satisfaction and fulfillment in life on 
how others are doing and how we're doing in relation with others i'm not i'm not talking about that i'm not talking about living a life of vanity where you just uh, you know want to see that i am the one with the satellite dish in the community and nobody else has this no i'm not talking about that i'm not talking about being the best i'm talking about looking at the potential that god has given you and this potential that god has given you is going to be communicated to by elements that you're going to meet in life such as when someone that you are with at the same level you meet them years later on and they're looking like they're doing much better than you are life starts communicating to you that listen chances are that you could be on the same level or maybe you could do higher things with what you're doing in your life than what you are at the moment that's what i'm talking about and now that that feedback has come into your life the question is how do you handle it and we said in the previous episodes that there are several things you can be able to do in fact yesterday in the episode we said that you've got to be defiant you've got to say that listen my life is not going to end up like this you see my life is not going to be having this kind of mediocrity so so to speak <laughs> and it's not going to end like this this trajectory is not how my life is going to end i can do something an inch higher all right a notch higher i can take my life a notch higher with what i have seen i can draw a line in the sand so you become defiant and you say that my my better days are ahead of me my latter will be greater than my past you can do that and you can actually end up having a significant life later on but then the second thing that i want us to discuss today is this that once you have uh, draw a line in the sand and you've made a decision to say that i will not have my life end up like this another thing that you need to do is to be actively engaged in life in other words you get some activities in place that are going to be different from what you're doing with your life up to this moment in time get activities that are going to help you to be productive and connected directly to your potential let me tell you this if you meet someone in the streets that you are at the same level with and uh, you know doing much better than you are doing and uh, for yourself you are actually doing great with your potential excavating it the actions that you're taking are actions that are deploying that potential ex- excavating it you know to the dregs of details i have no problem with that i mean keep doing what you're doing but i'm saying if you meet someone in the streets you graduated together with them maybe you even had higher marks than them and now they're doing wonders in the world they're contributing they're impacting the world and you look at them and send signals to you that probably you should not be doing what you're doing you should be doing something better with your life and you find out that the actions that you're taking the activities that you're taking in your life are not connected they are not connected to excavating your potential so that's the moment that you need to take some kind of review and realization that I got to change some things in terms of my activities and by the way some of these activities could be as easy as making your body active actively engaged you know some people okay they find themselves doing absolutely nothing the whole day just sitting and doing nothing and the more you do nothing the more there is nothing to show off and the more there is nothing to show off the more there is an apathy increasing in your life and telling you that you're a waste you're useless you're a failure I mean just cementing it becomes a self fulfilling reality but let me tell you the activities that you take action is one of the biggest nuclear bombs of productivity any action that you take is going to contribute towards something and let me tell you this that action is a seed to something greater in other words the things that you want in your life today they are not necessarily going to get in your life in the first asking or the first action that you take action is a hint and it's a seed and the more you take the action the more you see the possibilities and the more you see open doors coming up it's basically like traveling on a long journey in the dark only with the headlamps and they can only see as far that's what action does but you see if you're not traveling there's nothing that is there you can i mean there's no distance you're going to cover so if you are finding yourself life sending you feedback and telling you that you are maybe a failure or maybe you're useless or maybe the potential that you've been given you're not expending it the way you're supposed to be expending it guess what it is the moment in time for you to do some activity to take some action if it's physical activity maybe you will tell me that but Lawrence I don't have a job start somewhere start 
doing anything get some shoes on even if you don't have shoes get something and just go and run out there you know for 30 minutes and come back in the house that is action and let me tell you your brain will never be the same again your brain will start receiving signals hey let guess what we are needed we are needed there's work to do and before you know it ideas start dropping into your mind and into your heart and you start running with things start somewhere being active with whatever it is and like i've said if you meet someone in the streets and they are doing better than you are and you yet you are at the same level at some moment in time in in your life some years back and you realize that you are taking action already and you are potent in your taking action and you're productive there's basically nothing wrong keep doing what you're doing be inspired by them but if you are doing absolutely nothing it is time after you said yesterday you, you've got to be defiant and say my life is not going to end like this then the second thing that you've got to do is to take some immediate action and start working on yourself and the action that you're going to take my friend is not going to just to be one day taking action on a wednesday or taking action every wednesday you've got to take take this action on a daily basis and let me warn you let me warn you you will not see the results you feel the difference in your mind you feel the difference in your spirit you feel the agitation going on you feel the fighting in the emotions going on fighting between the good and the evil in your spirit and in your heart and in your mind you feel that conundrum going on that hustle going on in your mind but in the physical reality realm of life you might not see differences but that is how action normally breeds productivity it does that in the dark so you've got to keep persistent with it until such a time that you start seeing results outside and inside. I'm going to continue talking about this in the next episode but until then. Bye bye. A special shout out to my mentor Jeffrey Howard of Visionary Business University found at mastermindmentor.com who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.